Hey y'all, so today I am making the microwave that I told you guys about. I'm just using a Ritz box that I had, I got from Costco. And I'm just gonna be measuring out the door. So you can make your door any size that fit for what you're trying to make. I'm just doing it like half an inch from the top or an inch from the bottom, an inch from the top. And then I'm taking it in some. And then I'm just gonna measure out the box. I'll take some box cutter just to cut it out. You can use scissors, which probably take a little bit longer, a knife, but a box cutter seems to work the best. You could get some from Dollar Tree too. They have them, but be careful because they're very sharp. Now you have your little door. So I'm just showing you how you can easily open it and you can see the inside. So what you want to do next is close off some of this part. So here I'm showing you to close off this part so that way you know, because it's a big gap right there, so you don't want her to things to go in there and go fall on the side. So here I'm measuring out how to block that part off. And it's trial and error, guys. So the first time I did it, it was a mistake. It didn't work. It didn't this was not accurate. <laughs> See, it didn't go all the way down like I thought it would. But don't throw those pieces away because they can be handy. So here I'm measuring out the appropriate amount. Eight inches long. See, now it works. It fits properly, it goes in, and it blocks it off. And this is gonna be the knob I'm using. You can, I got this from a, a container. So there's two knobs that I have. I have a Coca-Cola knob and a regular big knob that I got from like juice or something. So that's what I'm using, the bigger knob. Cutting out the back and I wanna hot glue it so that way it sticks. So that way there's a, a surface that I can use to glue the little pins that I have on it. So I take my hot glue gun, go around it, be careful cause you know it's hot. This one, this glue is kind of cheap because I got it from, from Dollar Tree. So if you want it to be a stronger hold, you can. I got these from Dollar Tree too. They're the little clips that goes, that goes into your binder and you fold it out. So yes, I'm using that so that way she can easily spin it when she, we put it in. And now I'm just gonna set that to the side or show your, your hole where you're gonna put it. Mark it, poke it, and then you just put, and then you put it in later once you get your paper all on there. And here I'm just showing you how I'm doing the shelving. So what you want to do too, you want to make sure you measure it out well. My shelving, I didn't measure it out that well. And so it was a little uneven. Here I'm just showing you that I'm blocking off the other side. Uh, the microwave the inside I blocked off one side already but I didn't block the other side side next to the door so that's what I'm doing now this is my first time y'all making something like this so I hope it turned out well <laughs> she loves it but hope you guys enjoy it too so I see I'm showing you guys I'm blocking off the other side next to the door. It was a little bit too big so I just folded it down, but it fits. See, and that's the, the lining that I wanna use. I ran out of hot glue, so if you don't have hot glue, you can always tape, but your little one may try to pull it off. But yeah, I'm calling myself measuring it, but I didn't do that great of a job. <laughs> The hot glue sticks way better than the tape, so if you do hot glue or super glue or any kind of glue, I would use that instead of tape because tape tends to wobble.
I'm just going to tape the inside of the, the shelving, the, the block part. I'm taping that side down so that way, you know, it doesn't move. Like I said, I ran out of hot glue. And here's the knob that I'm going to be making. Just extra pieces. I'm showing you how I fold the knob, the handle for the microwave. And I'm just set that aside. And now I got, I'm cutting an extra hole out of the middle because I, I bought this magnifying glass to make it look like glass and um, from Dollar Tree. So you put it in and then it magnifies. And there's Chris, he's helping me out. It's always good to have an extra helping hands. Like I said, I ran out of hot glue, so we used this really strong tape. <laughs> so we have some really strong black, I forgot what the name of the tape is, but it's really strong black tape. And here I'm taking my contact paper and covering it. So what you want to do first is you cover the first part, the, the front, and then you poke a hole and don't seal off the top yet. Um, and then put your knob in. What I did, I sealed off the top and then I had to undo it to put the knob in. But what you want to do is put the knob in after you do the contact paper, but before you seal it completely. So that way you still have an opening to open up the little springs. Then we put the knob on, the handle. Chris helped out a lot. See here, I was like, oh, it's sealed. <laughs> so I had to, off camera, I had to unseal everything and then open it back up. But yeah, see, it turns. So here I'm just lining up the contact paper to the best of my ability. And I'm going all the way around the whole box. And then I want to make sure that black part is covered so she won't try to open, like, take it off. So I'm taking extra pieces. To cover that. For this I just used contact paper that I got from Dollar Tree. All I needed was one row to cover the whole Ritz box and to cover any extra and I had a very little bit left. But yes all I needed was one Ritz box to cover. But if you want to cover the inside to make it look different um, you may need more contact paper. And here I'm just taking some white paper that I have and making a little clock for the microwave. And you can be as creative as you want. You can even print this out. You can use stickers. You don't have to draw it out. But I, I drew it out. So it's 130. And I take the tape and cover the whole thing so that way she can't peel it off. And here I'm adding another one for like start and stop button. So when she pushes it like a microwave. And I had some bubble wrap left. And what I'm using in the bubble wrap is I'm putting it under the start and stop button so it can feel like a little push. So you add it underneath and it gives a little extra room so it feels pushy, like a button. And now I'm making the shelving. I'm using foil. But if your little one's still in the biting phase, I would not use foil, just FYI, because they will try to bite. The, the shelf so just get some paper or um, some wrapping paper or some more contact paper and cover it I use foil because the rack tends to be silver so that's why I thought you know the foil would be a good idea but for her it wasn't because she tried to bite it and you don't want little pieces of foil in their tummy so I would use something else or just use the cardboard and paint it See, now you can tell that my measurements is off. There's a gap between the shelving and the, <laughs> the rake. So yeah, make sure you measure it. But here I'm showing you what it looks like inside. It magnifies it, makes it bigger. 
This is a little toy that she has. It's all complete. And she loves playing with it. She put a bunny in that lights up and you can see the light up and she's playing with it. All right guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.